Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna try my hand over at the Freeport Jetty. We've got bad thunderstorms uh, on the forecast right around 10, 11, 12 o'clock, somewhere around there. And uh, judging off of yesterday's storms that just popped up out of nowhere, <laughs> I don't wanna be out there on the kayak and then get caught inside some of that stuff with a lightning rod uh, hanging up in the sky, all these rods right here. All right, so a lot of y'all ask, whenever I come to the jetties, where is it that I purchase my live bait? Uh, there are several bait shops here in the Freeport Surfside area. Normally I'll stop at Saltgrass. It just depends on who has live bait. If Saltgrass doesn't have it, you can usually see their flags flying, uh, letting the anglers know where, like what type of bait they have. And uh, if you don't see that live shrimp flag, then I just basically pass them up. There's hookers, saltgrass, bridge bait. Those are the three that I mainly stop at. For everyone that's wondering about the shoes that I wear and why I'm able to walk on those slippery rocks on the jetties, these right here are Sims flyweight boot. Uh, they've got some cleats. Now these definitely help you to grip them rocks right there. You can see I'm missing one cleat right here, uh, but that's not enough to make me want to buy more. So once we once like some of these guys start falling off, then I'll buy a new set of cleats. But these right here are golden whenever you're out there to have sure footing and prevent a nasty fall, a trip to the hospital to get some lacerations stitched up. I can tell you it's cheaper to go this route than to pay a doctor bill. You know what I forgot? My little net. All right, well, we're gonna have to get our hands wet. Probably need to get rid of one of these gloves. It's gonna be constantly wet, so shame on me. But I don't wanna kill my shrimp, and I don't have any lotion on, so that's the good thing. Let's uh, put this glove back up. We've got some small fellas in here. <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to put you back inside that water, I promise. This is a slippery sucker. One of y'all asked, uh, hey, where can I purchase the gloves? Just go to sims.com, their website, and uh, look for the guide glove. You'll be able to find it, purchase it online. That's what I do. All right, first cast. Y'all wish me luck. We're fishing approximately 12 feet down. There we go some crazy winds right now you just got to keep an eye on that cork as soon as it goes down the whammo gonna set the hook I saw one Spanish mackerel that somebody reeled in and uh, it was a nice size one hopefully we catch that and then we got lunch for the day there we go this guy's got a little bit of weight to him He's fighting like a Spanish mackerel Uh, but guess what? There is lunch on our very first, our very first cast, and we got lunch, baby. Uh, let's hope that he's gonna be big enough. Brought a small little tape measure. Came out here pretty light. Let's see. No, not quite 15 inches. So that is not lunch. Let's hurry up and get this guy back inside the water. Good hook set, though. All right pretty speckled trout right there nice and fat too here we go 
nice cast just right a little bit past the rocks they go out about a good 10 15 feet and then it drops so we're perfectly fine the wind is to our favor because it's blowing the cork away from us so we've got nothing to worry about as far as the shrimp trying to go back into the rocks or a sheep's head or something trying to snag it and then go back into the rocks and get us hung up to lose our equipment there it is oh we just lost him boy that was that quick <laughs> he took it under and then look at that stole the tail off of my shrimp sucker i got news for you bud you can have that tail i didn't want it there we go oh my god there we go we got him All right, now let's keep our fingers crossed that this guy is gonna be a keeper. Let's get him in the net, kind of save his slime just in case he's not. Settle down, buckaroo. Right there, tip of the tail. Oh my gosh, this dude is right, right at the brink of being a 15 incher. Look at that, definitely do not want to chance it, so we're gonna let him go. Let's hurry up and get them off. Come here, bud. Whoa, 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 bro. Get back over here. Thank goodness we didn't hit his gills. The forceps with the intricate work. A 15 inch keeper trout, but we don't want to chance it. So let's get him back over there. Oh, there we go. There we go. That is a keeper trout right there. Finally got a big one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh boy. There is lunch after all. Look at this. I just saw this. That right there pops those cart tires because people don't keep up with their trash. There we go, baby. That is definitely lunch. And thank goodness he's going to be a keeper size because we just gut cooked. Oh, actually, no. We just ripped his uh, gills. And he's grunting, too. I'm going to have to retie our leader. I got my stringer laid out. I mean, I got my measure laid out. And, yeah, most definitely. 16 going on 17 inches. And here we go. Just going to... Clip the gills, and there we are. You can kind of see them bleeding already. Alrighty, this is the uh, one keeper that we really wanted for the day. We'll let him kind of bleed out and then empty his uh, his insides, and then we'll gut him. Ah, we're hung up. Yeah, we're hung up. Got way too close to the to the rocks. Just lost our rig and. We gotta retrieve that cork, so here we go. All righty, didn't lose our cork. Put the net away and get re-rigged. Here we go. No, we gotta get away from that turtle. We got a big old sea turtle out there. Just wanna make sure he doesn't watch my shrimp go down. I honestly don't even know if those guys eat shrimp or not. I just... <laughs> I want to make sure I don't hook that fella. He's a pretty big one too. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, fish ain't biting, and if they are, 
they're doing it while I'm trying to film a turtle. <laughs> you gotta get your priorities straight or you're here to fish or film. It's kind of like both. That's a, a love-hate relationship with being a fishing YouTuber. You wanna fish, but then you also don't wanna pass up the opportunity to film the wildlife. What we're gonna do now, our fish is most definitely bled out already, so I'm gonna gut him really fast and just take care of that meat. So let's get that knocked out really quick. One of y'all asked what kind of bag was it that I'm using? This is a Ego 18 liter or 18 quart. I can't recall which, which one it is, liters or quarts. I don't know, but just know it's 18 something and it's a soft sided cooler. Really nice bag, just perfect enough to keep the size of fish that I like to keep. I don't like them big old gigantic ones. All right, back into the cooler he goes. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving this thing. Well, that guy, he was gonna bamboozle me. It's a little fella, but I just turned my head to take a look at the birds. I've been feeding them all my small shrimp, and then next thing you know, I turn right back around and our cork went down. Got a speckled trout. Hurry up and unhook this little tiny fella. He's too small. All right, not bad. And we're gonna keep on trying. Oh gosh, man, that's the second time I like took my head away from my uh, my cork just to look at the birds. And then here we go, another speckled trout. <laughs> Mark, what are you doing, son? You know how to fish? Okay, okay, I'm gonna put you back, don't worry. Whoa, bro. Alright, here we go. Seasoning, I'm just gonna keep it simple. Got some iodized salt. Nice little pinch. I uh, cut some slits in the trout. That's just to help the cooking process speed up. Uh, I don't wanna wait too long for the entire thing to finish cooking. And uh, let's see. Some fresh cracked black pepper. And then put the rest of the salt on the other side, just like that. Nice little sprinkle, not too much. And repeat with the uh, fresh cracked black pepper. The pan's been going for a little bit. We're gonna throw some olive oil. This is probably gonna be two tablespoons right there. Let's get that rolling around. I always throw the olive oil first, just so that we don't burn the butter. One tablespoon of butter right here. Make sure there's no wrapper. Yeah, I don't know how much roasted red peppers that is. If I had to guess, that's probably about three, maybe four tablespoons. That right there was two big cloves of garlic. Pan's kind of hot. In case y'all haven't noticed, that's a half tablespoon or a half teaspoon of basil and then a half teaspoon of oregano. Here, let's get the rest of that garlic in there. So what I'm gonna do is put that to the side, put that to the side. I'm gonna let those fellas go for about three minutes. All right, it's time to flip them. I don't think it's been three minutes, but the fish look like they're ready to be flipped. So that's what we're gonna do. There we go. Give it about two minutes on this side. Now for the final touch, and I don't know how this is gonna work out, but 
we're gonna try it anyways. This right here is the balsamic vinegar. Normally I would just brush this on my bread. Two tablespoons worth. All right, that should be good now. Just cut the heat and it's time to serve. We've got two pieces of sourdough bread right there. And here we go. Make sure we get that hot. Oh, boy, that's perfect. Take our roasted red peppers, garlic, and all of that other stuff, and then we're just gonna top it. There we are. That's That looks pretty good. All right, everyone, here we go. Another recipe that I just basically came up with in my head. Man, that uh, balsamic vinegar is very pungent. <laughs> I can smell it big time. But uh, it's basically what I've had inside the pantry and uh, I just put it all together. So here we go. Let's see how this is gonna taste. Let me get a knife so I can cut this in half. Little bit of uh, an Italian inspired style uh, sandwich and uh, bottoms up. Tastes good. Um, it's not gonna be the like best, but it tastes good. It's, I don't know, I guess very hard to describe. What I'm gonna do right now is take off the bread and let's just try the fish by itself and then we'll eat the sandwich uh, as a whole. Um, it, it's not bad at all, but uh, it's got a very different flavor than what I'm used to when I think about doing fish. Thank you, sir. All right, so here we go. Here's the fish by itself. Oh yeah, there it goes. <laughs> the fish is there. The fish is perfect too. It does not take long to cook the fish. All right, so I'm gonna enjoy myself and because we get fancy in this house, we're going to drink some wine, some seltzer wine. These were left over and they are god awful, but uh, I don't want my money to go to waste, so. Oh yeah. So here we go. Again, the second bite, maybe it might get better. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm going to give it like a seven. Um, it isn't bad, but I think like maybe some pastrami that was fresh out of the oven or cooker or however you cook pastrami or anything like that. Uh, let's get Elijah over here and see what he thinks about it. Why is it too? Just, just bite it. It's a sandwich. What do you think? It tastes like fish on bread. <laughs> Fish on bread, there you go. <laughs> what do you think about the flavors? I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't not like it. I mean, I think it tastes fine on the bread. You can really taste the um, it's not bad, roasted red pepper. But it's not preferred. I don't know if I would want to eat this. Like, Not as good as the one you made the other night. The red fish, but... I'm about to take my sandwich back. <laughs> what is in it? Now it is. Fish. Just but eat it. not in it. What oh, fish is it? The kind of fish that you eat. Trout. <laughs> speckled. It's speckled trout. It has that fishier taste. Yeah. I, mm. That's what I always say. Like a lot of other people say that speckled trout doesn't have the fish flavor it to does. me speckled trout like so, i mean even when you get it on your hands it smells it does like have fish. a fishy a lot more fishy taste than than, uh, red than fish red fish, fish right yeah. flounder is my absolute favorite though. he didn't say mm, I'll, I'll pass. <laughs> so there you go christian didn't like it that's why it got a seven in my book all right so that's gonna do it i thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did you know what to do click that thumbs up button for each and every one of y'all that is subscribed, well, 
for each and every one of y'all that isn't subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button if you enjoyed the content, and until next time, tight lines, y'all.